Right, hi guys, and welcome back to the career mode from the Mexican Grand Prix. And as you can see, last time out, we beat our rival, Max Verstappen. And uh, yeah, just before we get into practice one, I want to upgrade my engines to Component 5. So that's right, yeah, we did the cheeky little thing at Singapore where I had a poor qualifying. So I thought, yep, yeah, I can get some free bits here. And so this should last us to the end of the season. Now, I keep it on Gearbox 4, though, just because I don't want to take a penalty this race. Um, and we should last because I've upgraded the gearbox a little bit now as well. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. So as we come onto the track climatization lap, uh, I'm going to show you the whole lap. Mainly because, they're not because the lap was impressive or anything like that, obviously. But um, I just want to take the time out to thank every single one of you that's helped me reach 150 subscribers. Uh, I reached it yesterday, and I got up this morning and I was on 153. So at the time of recording, 153 subscribers, and that's just insane. My target for this year was between 50 to 75 subscribers for my first year on YouTube, and we've already doubled that top figure. Um, and yeah, it's a huge thanks to all of you guys that have helped me. You know who you are. Um, you know, such as Brad, uh, Viper Racing has helped me massively uh, with channel art and thumbnails and things like that. Also, F1 Games PlayStation, Dave. Uh, he's always there for a good chat and has helped me out with my channel, such as editing a few videos together, um, such as my Prague holiday vlog, mainly. And that took him like a couple of weeks to do. And I really appreciate that all you guys have taken the time out for me. Uh, not to mention as well a few others such as like DCCF1 who I do the co-op with and uh, yeah such as Jam Sankith Gaming, uh, Blake417, KTM Milner. There's quite a few of you guys, I won't be able to mention you all obviously but you, you're you all mean the same amount to me and I really all appreciate you uh, for commenting, subscribing, liking my videos and just coming in for a general chat. I really really do appreciate it, it means means a lot to me. And I'm glad we've reached 150 subscribers, even though I wasn't expecting it so soon. So as you could see, we've finished that session in P3. And we are just coming in, getting our lovely resource points. So, oh, a new rival. Oh, hello, Hema. How are you doing? F1 Games PlayStation will be currently creaming this itself at the sight of you, you know. But it's not Dave, it's me. And I couldn't give a shit. And we've got Daniel Ricciardo as a new rival. Wow, haven't we already had him? I'm sure we've already had him. This fucking game, I swear to God, I can't wait to bin this off after two more episodes of it. God almighty. I just, this game, just this game just annoys me. I've got a new rival that's technically an old one because I've already had him. Anyway, we upgrade our uh, gearbox there to the uh, final component upgrade so we get another 22% wear or something whatever 22% less wear I should say anyway who gives a shit I'm not interested durability is the only thing that works so as we get ready to head out on track for our qualifying lap get our DRS flap open at the earliest opportunity there and uh, down the long straight I don't normally go that well at Mexico it's not my favorite circuit as we get a block by a Sauber they like getting in the way in qualifiers I swear to god move out of the way Ericsson you tit uh, but yeah it's not it's not as bad as Baku obviously so uh, yeah it, I suddenly improve here now because we've got Baku <laughs> that's my that's my least favorite circuit but yeah but Mexico I'm not too keen on this section I really struggle with uh, getting the power down I just think it's too tight and just too complicated for no apparent reason really although uh, of course I do love the uh, stadium section where uh, all the fans are sat around and that are really cool I would really really love to go see a Formula One race here and uh, live that experience um, that that would be something special but anyway as we come through this fast complex which I do hate I hate this bit as well and uh, yeah we're coming into the stadium section now and we're hard on the brakes turning right clipping the apex nicely clipping the exit apex nicely as well and here we are look, all the lovely fans watching us copied and pasted there's probably only about five different characters in all that crowd because this is f1 2017 and we come round the final corner and we're going to complete our lap bottas just sets his fastest lap but where do we go oh p2 for now and that puts us in P5 for the race with Esteban Ocon, 8th. Oh, my God. Everyone hold their shit together. That's the best qualifying he's had all year, I think. But, uh, yeah, good stuff there. So as we collect our juicy resource points, which I'm not going to spend much, we've got our new old rival, Daniel Ricciardo, and we're currently beating him like we did before, but the game can't remember that. That's why he's a new rival. 
Oh, this game. Anyway, we're going to go straight into the race because I've not got enough resource points to buy anything else. Not that I want to anyway. Cut screen, cut that because FOM still block it. And shut the fuck up, David Croft, because I don't like you. I never will. And your commentary is the same over and over and over and over and over and over again because you bore me. Anyway, we plop our extra fuel in. Go for 19 and a half laps worth of fuel. Just a little bit more. Just a cheeky little margin more. And as we wait for the five lights to go out now on episode 18 of the career mode, yes, we're almost done. Hallelujah, praise Jesus. And we get a rocket start. Vettel has a bad start off the line. He's down to fifth. We've overtaken him. Uh, as you can see, Verstappen's got past him as well behind. And we are attacking Raikkonen and Bottas and Hamilton going into turn one. We're going to try and squeeze through the middle, are we? Oh, this is tight. This is tight. Oh, four wide briefly there and we're through. Oh, I'll get a warning for a collision with Bottas, but that doesn't matter. We're into the lead. I <laughs> didn't expect that. And Raikkonen and Vettel have got through on the Mercedes cars as well, so they had a poor start there after I uh, forced Bottas a little bit wide into Hamilton off the line, but uh, that doesn't matter. I'm loving life. I'm in P1. P1, everyone. God, I can't believe it. So as we come round into lap two now, I get it wrong going through the first left-hand fast complex. I'm trying to get back on the track. I've had another slide trying to get back on. And I'm down to third, fourth now. I'm behind Vettel, Raikkonen and Bottas. And I've slid again, but I managed to hold it. I'm still ahead of the blessed one, but oh, I can't believe it. I've lost the lead in such a stupid way. You join me at the end of lap three now, coming on to lap four. And we're going to get DRS on Bottas ahead to try and grab that podium place back. After our silly mistake on lap two, uh, we're not looking like we're going to. We're closing in though. We are closing in, so we're going to. Are we making a move? Are we making a move? Yes, we are. Look at that for a lunge, and I'm through into P3. Good stuff. Loving life there. Can we make an attack on the Ferraris now? That's the key question. I think they've got the legs on us though, unfortunately, this race, but we're going to try nonetheless. As we come round on to lap six, just starting lap six, we're still P3, but we've got Bottas behind, closing in on us with that DRS. We've got Hamilton as well there, he's closed in. And Bottas and Hamilton are both through for now, and I'm still trying to stick it round the outside while Bottas and Hamilton battle. I just give it, Bottas a little bit of a squeeze, leaving him nowhere to go, and we maintain P3, but this battle is going to get very tense, I feel, because uh, they're coming thick and strong now, the Mercedes drivers are. Further on in lap six now, where we've got Lewis Hamilton looking up the inside, but he couldn't quite do it. I try and go for the apex, but outbreak myself. And we've got the corner arrows going mental behind us now, as we've got the two Mercedes drivers tripping up over themselves behind me, trying to get past me. The desperate, they're going to be in the DRS zone, coming down this start finish straight, though, of course. So I'm going to be at a disadvantage down here. So I'm looking at them about to make an attack. And we're just waiting now. As you can see, the closing in, the marker arrows are getting closer and closer. They're closing in on us. We've got Hamilton to the right of us. And he's going to try and make the move around the outside. But I'm going to force it up the inside, keep my line, keep the position. Hand of Rage comes out briefly there as we bang wheels as Lewis tried to get to the apex. But we weren't, we weren't having none of that. And we maintain P3, but the Ferraris are gone. So as we come round now to the end of lap 8, I'm taking all the corner markers out just because I can. On the way into the pit lane, as you can see, there's a Ferrari already exiting the pit. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to mount an attack for the win today anymore, sadly, after my early mistake on lap 2. We go for the super soft tyres, a good stop there by the Force India boys, and we're out. Where will we come out, though? Will the... Uh, I think it was Hamilton that pitted the lap earlier. So will he be able to leapfrog us, or will we get out ahead of him? as we were, and it'll stay as it was. I think it's going to stay as it were. We're in P5. We've got Stroll ahead and Magnussen as well, though, yet to stop. Just a touch later on into lap nine, we've got Stroll for company on the incredibly worn ultra soft tyres, and we're going to make a fairly easy move up the inside there. And, yeah, fairly clean cut, fairly straightforward. We've got Magnussen ahead as well, who is also yet to stop, and then the two Ferraris ahead. So we have maintained P3 in this race. Just starting lap 15 now, and as you can see, we've got Hamilton behind with the DRS once again, who is closing in on us, and he's going to try and mount the attack. I defend the inside line, so he's going to have no choice but to go around the outside. Do we... Yeah, there he is. Look, I was going to see, do we hold him off? We're going to see. We do fend him off, yes, but not without a bit more contact and a bit more hand of rage. But still P3 for now, which is delightful stuff for us. As we come round to start lap 17, the penultimate lap, we've got Alonso off to our left-hand side. He's retired from the race, no doubt, with a mechanical problem. 
as is standard with the McLaren Honda. We've still got Hamilton firmly in our DRS zone as well as Valtteri Bottas, the two Mercedes drivers still desperate to get through. We've briefly had a flick of yellow flags there, but it's gone back to green. There's a slow-moving car ahead. Who's that? It's Grosjean in the house, and he's going to take the inside line. I'm going to try and go up his right-hand inside line. I've hit the back of him, and I've made contact with Hamilton now as I try to get round Grosjean. I've got a warning for the collision with Grosjean, but Grosjean was just uh, really didn't have anywhere to go. We were trying to make the move around him, and with a punctured tyre, Grosjean couldn't do much there. It was just a bit of poor error, uh, poor judgment by me there, trying to go around up the inside when I should have known he was going to be off the racing line. But nonetheless, we maintain P3. And as we come round now to the final, final stadium section, the Ferraris have already crossed the line. We've got confetti pouring everywhere. Raikkonen won the race, and we're going to lap Grosjean one more time for good measure. This time he's firmly out of the way. And yes, we're going to come round to take a well-deserved P3 podium ahead of the two Mercedes boys. And wow, what a race that was. Good stuff, good stuff. It wasn't filled with action, but... The action that it was filled with was certainly good and uh, it was good to see that I had some pace here when I don't normally have it. As you can see, Maurizio is well chuffed with the 1-2 by Ferrari. Oh yes, he's going to have some more work done on his face, I think. And uh, yes, Kimi Raikkonen is the winner from Sebastian Vettel. That's us there in the background with our purple helmet in P3. And uh, there we go, we've got the Ferrari boys once again shaking over each other's hand. Congratulating each other on a good race. And Carlos Sainz finished ninth with Toro Rosso, so that'll be a good result for them. They're really close in the constructors with a couple of teams. And as you can see, look, it's the two Ferraris and myself in P3. Raikkonen from Vettel, from me. And Raikkonen takes the trophy, holds it a high, and he's going to place it down now. And now it's time for the champagne! No matter how many updates this game has, it'll always be the same fucking cutscene. Codemasters, I hate you with the passion. I don't recommend anyone buy this game. So, as you can see, it was Raikkonen, Vettel, me, Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen, Ricardo, Ocon, Seitz and Hulkenberg rounding out the top ten. We're still P4 in the championship, although it's impossible for us to win now with two races left and 56 points, the gap to the leader. Raikkonen retakes the championship lead now by a solitary point, so that's getting close. Vettel 21 points behind, so that's looking a bit more unlikely now. It looks like it's between Raikkonen and Hamilton now, although Vettel could still help the championship for that Ferrari team, of course. Ferrari leading the constructors as well, and once again, Force India firmly fourth, not going to go anywhere now, not up nor down. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and yeah, look forward to seeing you again for the Brazil Grand Prix and the final week next week of the career mode <clears throat> with the uh, final episode out on Friday. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and much love. Ta-ra!